We've been asking hundreds of people about international volunteer travel. When we asked people why they volunteered abroad, nearly all of them said that they were trying to answer this question. How can I do good in the world? That's a pretty big question, and not one that we can hope to answer in a four minute video. However, we thought you'd be interested in the answers we've been getting. And so we've taken the tips and ideas we received and put them into a little diagram. It starts here. Global development and personal development go hand in hand. A very wise man once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And many people we talked to suggested exactly this. We need to live the values we want to see in the world. Learning, broadening our perspectives, challenging our assumptions, being nice to people around us, and setting personal goals in themselves are as much a service to the world as a service project is. Plus, going out in the world to change it without learning first isn't always going to help. So the two are entirely interlinked. The first piece of the model is develop relevant knowledge and skills. Doing good starts with asking the right questions, doing the right research, and developing the right skills so we can effectively contribute our time. Attitudes are just as important as skills. Many people we spoke to stressed the importance of cultivating empathy and developing attitudes such as openness and humility while volunteering. Fostering these attitudes and understanding different cultures requires practice, just like learning a new language. We might need to unlearn the attitude of treating others how we'd want to be treated and instead treat others how they'd want to be treated. This means getting off the plane ready to listen and learn and not assuming that we already know the answers about how to help. All this learning people are talking about is not just for the sake of building knowledge. It's learning for action. We've heard over and over from past volunteers is that learning helps make sure your action is thoughtful and therefore more effective. Whether this is related to volunteering abroad or choosing how to spend your time at home, rather than rushing blindly, stop, learn, and check that your assumptions are truly aligned with the causes you care about. We spend so much time planning our big life actions taking a new job, or choosing a volunteer placement, we sometimes overlook the ongoing ways we impact the world through our daily actions. Big isn't always best. You don't have to start a nonprofit or launch a global movement to be effective. The choices we make about the products we buy, who we vote for, and the resources we use may ultimately be our largest contribution to greater change. To be effective learners, we need to do two things. Gather knowledge, but also question our assumptions. We can do that through self-reflection, but additionally, we might need the help of others to see which questions we've forgotten to ask. Reach out to your teams and advisors and ask for feedback to help you continually improve the choices you make. All of these tips can be summarized in one point. Adopt a learning mindset. Learning, questioning, researching, exploring, and improving seems to be key in all the tips and ideas we gathered about doing good in the world. So that's it. We would love to hear your own tips and ideas and stories on how you do good in the world.